Hey guys, RPM here. All right, I have a brand new EVGA RTX 3070 Ti for the Win 3 edition card here. And I am going to be testing out today a new update from NB Miner. You guys may have heard this already and apparently there is a uh, it's kind of like an LHR unlock, but only at 70% hash rate. Okay, so I'm going to be trying that in this video, and we're going to try a bunch of different values here. Like they said, dash LHR, and then the value. They said here, a good start tuning value is 68. So dash LHR, and then 68. So we're going to try that in this video, and I have a little test bench set up here, and I have two kilowatt meters here. So what's going on here is that I have two different power supplies. One is for my motherboard, and I'm actually gonna be using a RTX 3060 as well. We're gonna see if NB Miner is gonna affect a 3060 as well. This is a limited card, not an LHR, so we'll see what happens. And then I have a GPRisers.com riser here, brand new, thank you to them. Guys, go visit them, GPRisers.com. Use offer code REDPANDAMINING for 10% off if you guys are interested. So I'm gonna be placing the 3070 Ti on this riser and then I have a HP server PSU this is a 1200 watt and I am running it at 120 volt okay so this power supply can only go up to about 900 according to what they say here at 120 volt okay max 900 watts and then I have a parallel miner x11 amp breakout board coupled with the PSU and then I have three PCIe cables so one is going to be for the riser and then the other two here is going to be for the graphic card which requires two eight pins and so this kilowatt meter here will show the exact power consumption of just the 3070 Ti so that's going to be fun all right guys without further ado let me plug it in and uh, I'm going to get the LHR stuff to work and we are actually going to be using simplemining.net today because they were the first ones to have the uh, update for NB Miner version 39 all right so I'm going to be excited to try this I already have uh, the SSD already preloaded with simple mining and my account and so I am excited to try that and guys stay tuned I actually have 12 6600 XT's coming and so I'm actually gonna be trying that in simple mining as well and hopefully that might be pretty cool maybe I might have to BIOS mod them or you know do something in Windows beforehand but I have them coming so stay tuned for that video alright let's see what the hash rate is for this 3070 Ti let's go Okay, I got it mining, my friends, in simple mining, and to be honest, the results are not that great, or not really efficient. Anyway, we're getting, I'm getting 52.59 mega hash, oh, it looks like it went up to 53 now, at 176, 177 watts, okay? And then at the wall, it's showing 197, all right? So looks like we're missing a okay now it's at 215. It's it's jumping all over the place. I'm I'm sure it's something to do with the LHR that's happening on this GPU. But the 3060 as well, it's not uh you guys may have heard the 3060 actually does better on the Mini Z minor and I believe it's a specific version of the Mini Z minor. But anyways, yeah, that we're getting only 25, 24 mega hash on that in NB minor. Okay, well guys, I want to try a few more settings here. So actually, if I just show you, if I go to my group config, and here we are, this is where I can edit, you know, the version of the software in Simple Mining. It's pretty slick. But the main thing here is, is that the LHR is at 68. So I want to try 69 and see if that does anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna save and reload the rig and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like we gained a little bit more hash rate. We're almost at 54 mega hash and the 3060 didn't really go up as well. So I'm gonna try LHR space 70 or you know, it's 72, let's see what happens. Okay, so at dash LHR 72, we basically dropped the hash rate quite a bit. I mean, we dropped power as well, but yeah, I don't think LHR72 worked. So yeah, judging by the power consumptions at 159, <laughs> we're getting like, you know, RX 580 levels here, 30 mega hash, 31 mega hash. So, okay, and I wanted to show you guys the overclocks just in case some people were wondering. I mean, these numbers that I have are not, 
you know, set in stone, definitive at all. These are just random numbers I tried in terms of the absolute core clock. Okay, so simple mining can do absolute core clock, which is really cool. And then I did 2400 memory, and then I did 200 power limit. But in the software, it was showing much less, but at the wall, it was using much more. Okay, so yeah, guys, that's the hash rate that I can get. Let me know what numbers you guys are getting down below for any of you that have maybe 3070 TIs, a 3080 TI, or maybe 3060 Ti LHR, and uh, let me know what kind of numbers you guys get as uh, I know a lot of people are probably wondering as well. And so I think it's really cool that NB Miner was able to unlock the hash rate for these LHR cards so that we can get the full Ethereum hash rate per se. A Ravencoin seems to be totally fine. I can get about 40 mega hash on these 3070 Ti's but at about 250 watts. I just want to touch on that, you know, yeah, NB Miner did a cool thing here. I think uh, hopefully other miners will be able to figure it out as well. You guys know LOL Miner. LOL Miner was pretty notorious for getting up. The first like generation iteration of the 3060 was limited on Ethereum. But you guys know there was a driver to unlock the 3060s in Windows, okay, to get 50 mega hash at about, you know, 115, 120 watts, which is great, but you had to use a HDMI dummy plug in order to get that to work. And of course, the 4.70.05 developer driver, and yeah, anyways. So what we learned, okay, you know, these cards were able to unlock the hash rate, but are people going to be buying these for mining? And you know, for per, for me personally, I have been buying 3070 Ti's because they're available. And uh, I just I just wanted to make a couple mining rigs of 3070 Ti's. So stay tuned. I will have a mining rig of building a 3070 Ti, the EVGA for the Win 3 edition cards uh, for mining Ravencoin, or maybe another coin or something. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So to end off this video guys, maybe some of you may be wondering like, Red Panda, are you going to stay mining Ethereum on this 3070 Ti or are you going to keep it on Ravencoin? So let me go to what to mine for a sec and I want to see exactly the profitability mining, the exact hash rates that we got on this GPU against Ethereum and Ravencoin. Alright, give me one sec. Okay, so I inputted the exact numbers that we roughly got, 54 mega hash, 197 watts for ETH hash, and then the Kapow algorithm, we have uh, 40 mega hash and then 250 watts. Okay, so let's hit calculate, and let's see what we make here. So, Ravencoin is at the top here, and here is the profitability on a single 3070 Ti. $6.16 a day mining Ravencoin or mining Ethereum would be $3.76 a day, which is, wow, which is honestly still crazy as a card that is not efficient compared to, let's say, maybe an RX 5700 XT. You know, you can get 54, 55 mega hash or even 60 mega hash depending on the, on the model, like, you know, the Sapphire Nitros. They can do about, you know, 120 watts or less, right? Mining Ethereum on those 5700 XTs. So yeah, comparing to that, it's, it's just not efficient compared to an RX 5700 or maybe if we're comparing to a, a RTX uh, 3070. You guys know, RTX 3070 can do about 60 mega hash at about 125, 130 watts, or if not less, right? Which is much better than the 3070 Ti. So yeah, that's that's just for ETH hash though, okay? ETH hash mining. Obviously, Ravencoin, Ravencoin is, from what I've tested, is that the 3070 seems to be the best sweet spot in terms of efficiency. Like, uh, I believe we are able to get like 30 mega hash on a 3070 at about 147 watts or something. So that's pretty efficient compared to other GPUs that I've tested. But I want you guys to let me know what you think of the RTX 3070 Ti with the LHR with NB Miner. And let me know what your guys' result is down below. I would really appreciate that. Okay, my friends, thanks for watching. This was a fun little thing. And also, yeah, let me know what you think about my setup. <laughs> it's just so funny. I have like two kilowatt meters. So this side's about 100 and uh, man, it's jumping all over the place. 115 watts or something. Uh, that's just for the motherboard. I have an ITX motherboard and uh, you can see the riser going plugged into that one extra PCIe slot. And then I have the RTX 3060 plugged in. And uh, yeah, like, like I said in the beginning, this kilowatt is of the 3070 Ti. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's definitely throttled right now. It's definitely really throttling. We're getting 30 mega hash 
at the moment. Okay, anyways, my friends. Yeah, no, we're supposed to get like 53 or something. All right, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, and peace out.